Hi and welcome back to this special series on building 7 use cases of machine learning on Android. In this video, we will continue our journey with Android Studio where we will develop a simple hello world application and run it on an Android virtual device or an emulator. So if you have installed the Android Studio as in the last video, you will be here at the welcome screen of the Android Studio. We have the we have installed the latest one, Arctic Fox and you will get a prompt to start a new project. So before we start, let us just confirm the settings that we have done to make sure that our installation goes smoothly and we are able to develop the Hello World application without any glitches. So before we do the new project, just come to more actions and go to SDK manager, go to SDK tools, and just confirm some things. So if you are having an AMD processor in your Windows machine, just make sure that you have this hypervisor driver for AMD processors installed. If you are having an Intel processor, just make sure that you have the Intel x86 emulator accelerator installed. If this is not installed due to some reason, uh, please go to this link. I will have it in the description. Go to this link and figure out which of the steps are required for you to do in, in order to install these hardware accelerators properly. Now these steps are only required if you are developing solely on the emulator and you want your emulator to work well. If you are working with an Android physical device or an actual phone then uh, you can just skip these settings for now. Okay, so we are all set. So I have an AMD processor. I have the hypervisor driver installed. Uh, it didn't work out of the box for me also. I also had to follow those steps in the link. So I would recommend to first check this before we go ahead. Okay, so let's begin. So let's close this. Uh, let's start with our hello world. We will click on the new project. And you can see already that there are a lot of options that the studio provides you to build different types of screens and UIs which are already pre-baked. So we will just go with empty activity for now. We are building for phone and tablet. So that section is checked and inside phone and tablet, we will select the empty activity. So let us just rename the project to hello world. And this will also change the package name. Just, just keep the language to Java and minimum SDK to what is the default Android 5. Now package name is the unique ID that any Android application will have in the whole world. So any application when you go to the Play Store is identified using its package name or the unique package ID. Now this is the location where the project will be saved. We are using Java for this uh, tutorial series. And the minimum SDK is the minimum Android version on which your app will run. So we have the studio has chosen default as lollipop, which means that we can, this application can run on 94% of the devices. So if you choose help me, if you click on the help me choose button, uh, studio will show you this distribution of Android platform versions. So if you go to ice cream sandwich, you will be able to run on almost all of the devices, but it has some limitations in the sense that it is a very old Android version. So we will just go ahead with Lollipop, which will ensure that we have access to much more APIs at the device level. So uh, any of the Android phones on which these apps will be installed, will be able to support much more features for our apps. So let's just go ahead and click on finish. It will take some time for the project to build first time and download the Gradle libraries dependencies and come up. Once it is done, you will have this Android uh, tab on the left side or the Android view and your project classes will populate in that. So because this is IntelliJ Studio, Android Studio is built over IntelliJ. So you will have these handy tips every time you open, you can choose to skip them. But if you are a new budding developer, these tips are quite handy. Okay, so the build has finished and you can see that we are having this Android uh, view populated where you can see we have different files. So I'm not going to go through all the files because that might be too much for you for now. But 
to show at a higher level, we have three main things. So first is the manifest file, which tells the phone or your Android device what is contained in your APK or the your Android application. Like what are the activity, what, uh, what is what activities are there in your application and what is the main activity. This is the launcher icon, the icon that you see in the menu of your Android phone. And then we have your class files under Java, where you write your activities, services, and different classes, your business logic. And then finally, we have the resource folder where you have the UI and all the other resources, like you can even add your images and all other assets, even the string assets. Okay, so we can see our app is ready. Uh, so this is the Hello World app. So if you want to see the UI, you can go to activity underscore main under resource and layout. And if I just zoom in, you can see there is a text view, which is centered in the layout and it has this text called hello world. So this is the design view. If I go to code view, this is the code for the layout files written in XML format. So we have a parent element called the constraint layout which allows you to add constraints to you to different view elements so that how they can interact with each other. Uh, so we will come up on this a little later. But we have a text view at the center, which is constrained to all four sides. So if I go to split view, you can see that the text view is constrained to all the four sides to the parent view, which means that it will be centered both horizontally and vertically. So this is our hello world and this is the activity. So if I want to run it, I will need some devices. So which is not there. So what we will do is we will create a new one. So create virtual device, just choose pixel two, or whichever is the default and then come to images. So my system is 64 bit. So I'm going to go ahead and download the 64 bit version of the image. So the system image has uh, finished downloading. So this system image is similar to the firmware that Android installs on your phone before they are shipped from the factory. So it contains all the apps like camera, clock, reminders and everything. And uh, if you're using the Google Play Store version, you can even sign into your Google account and uh, even uh, uh, to your Gmail and other calendar apps and use this emulator or the virtual device as you would use a normal phone. So Yes, so system image is downloaded. I'll select that one and let's go ahead. Now here, I just wanted to show you something that if you click on advanced settings, you can actually play around with the network latency and speed and you can also choose. So if you have a webcam integrated with your uh, laptop, so you can actually choose the front and back camera to relay the feed from the webcam of the laptop. So that option is also there. Otherwise, you can keep it as virtual scene, which is the normal uh, VR scene that is inbuilt into the emulator. So let's finish it. So let's finish and our uh, AVD is ready. So let's start it here itself because the first time it will take around uh, maybe two to three minutes to boot it up. It's an actual booting process, which means that it will go through all the stages of how an Android phone actually boots up. Okay, so our emulator or virtual device has booted up and now we can go back to our studio and start and try to run our Hello World app. So just click on this green arrow or you can press Shift F10 and this will start building the app. And then finally load it on your emulator and install it and then execute it. So you can see here the build is running. It is executing a series of steps to convert the code and the resources into a final executable binary, which will then be provided to the emulator. The same binary, you can also send it to your actual phone. The build is successful. It is now trying to install the app on the emulator. So you can see, the launch succeeded and now we can see the hello world app so the name of the app that we gave at the start was hello world 
and this is the text view that we saw in the layout file. So if you are able to do these steps till here, you are ready and set to go for the next steps, which is actually building the seven use cases for the machine learning demo. And then if you want, you can actually connect your phone also and the steps should be fairly simple. If you want to run this app on your Android phone, then I have a video in the description, which will guide you through the steps required to run this same app on an actual phone. So do check it out if you are running these apps on the phone. And in the next video, we will start by creating our ML series or uh, demo app and where we will also add the permissions required to access the photos on an Android phone. So you might have seen while you download apps that normally interact with photos that they will ask you for permissions. So we will see how we can achieve those steps and ask the user for access to his photos or gallery. See you there.